I have hired and fired dozens of traders while running the Chicago office of a top prop firm, and I've made many traders into seven and even eight figure traders. Let me share with you the number one trait I sought out when hiring new traders. Far more important than intelligence or school pedigree, coachability is the number one trait I look for when hiring. I define coachability as how open a trader is to feedback, mine or the markets, and most critically, how quickly and effectively that trader can then incorporate that feedback. This is part of why college athletes are so popular on trading desks. They know how to compete at a high level and they spent their whole lives receiving sometimes tough feedback from coaches and incorporating it quickly in high pressure environments. There are some smart traders I've trained, but whether due to ego or a lack of mindfulness, they're unable to receive feedback and make those changes. Day in and day out, they come and make the same damn mistakes. Or if they do change, it takes them months for the tiniest bit of progress. They can never reach escape velocity and overcome the learning curve fast enough. So how does one develop coachability? First, by staying open to feedback, not thinking you're right, but listening to your trainer, your pod mates, and the market. And next you develop what I call consciousness. You need to spend the whole day focusing on the most important thing you need to improve, building that self-awareness in real time. If sizing is your focus, every trade, you need to start to become aware of your sizing, then asking yourself into trade, is this the proper amount of shares? This is way harder than it sounds during a long trading day, but with real-time consciousness eventually comes change. Like any skill, the more you practice consciousness in your daily activities, the easier it becomes to be aware of and make these changes. And the faster you make those changes, the faster you'll improve.